everybody, we are going to be reading a nonfiction book today. Does anyone know what nonfiction means? Nonfiction means that everything in the book is real. Our book is called A Tree for All Seasons. It is written by Robin Bernard. The pictures are provided by National Geographic Kids. Today, we are going to learn some new vocabulary about trees. Join me as we learn about the changes a tree goes through during each season. Year after year, a maple tree changes from season to season. What are the four seasons? We have winter, spring, summer, and fall. In winter, the tree is bare. It looks dead, but it is alive and well. Many things are happening. Let's take a quick peek inside the tree to see what's going on. Squirrels nap in a cozy tree hole. A little bird sits on a branch and calls its name, Chick-a-dee-dee-dee. Look closely at this tree branch. The bumps at the tips are buds. They will open into leaves when the weather gets warmer. Buds may also grow into flowers, which may eventually grow into fruit. As winter ends, nights are still cold, but days are getting warmer. It is perfect weather for farmers to collect sugar maple sap. What is sap? Sap is a sugary watery liquid that comes from inside trees. The sap flows out of taps in trees and into buckets. Do you know what sap is used for? The sap has no color until it is boiled. Then it becomes dark, sweet maple syrup. What a treat for pancakes and waffles. What is your favorite thing to put syrup on? Mine is pancakes. Spring brings warmer weather. In spring, the leaf buds open. Soon, the maple tree grows floppy green flower tassels. Birds build nests on the branches. Have you seen any nest in your trees? Spring also brings rain showers. The tree's roots soak up water and carry it to all parts of the tree. Sunshine helps the trees make sap, which feeds the tree. Look at the veins in a leaf. The veins are the lines that you see on a back of a leaf. We have veins too, but our veins are a little different. Veins help air, water, and sap flow through to help the plant grow. In summer, the maple tree is covered with dark green leaves. Fruit called Samaras are growing on this tree. It makes a good meal for a chipmunk. Even on a hot summer day, you can find shade or a cool place to play under a maple tree. In autumn, the tree's leaves turn bright colors. Autumn is another name for fall. What color leaves have you seen in the fall? As the leaves dry up, they change from green to yellow, red, and orange. Each day, more and more leaves fall. Autumn brings chilly days and nights. Bugs crawl under the tree's bark where they would sleep through the cold weather. Bark is the hard outside part of the tree trunk. Animals get ready for winter when food will be hard to find. Squirrels hide lots of nuts and seeds. Do you know any other animals that prepare for the winter by stocking up on lots of food? Bears prepare for the winter by eating a lot of food so that they can sleep through the winter. The bear's ability to sleep through the late fall and the winter is called hibernation. If you play in the leaves, you'll hear crunch, scrunch, crunch. But don't worry about making noise. The maple tree won't wake up until spring, just like the bear. Thank you for listening to my book. I hope you learned a lot of new information about how trees change, and I hope you also learned some new words. If you want to learn about the different seeds of a tree, join me next week when I read the book, Who Will Plant a Tree? See you all next time. Goodbye, friends.